Hi, Jasmine here from Level Up Consulting, and I'm here to talk about one of the most crucial forms of contingency planning that you can do for your business, risk management. So put simply, risk management is the process of identifying all the potential threats to your business's current and future operations, assessing the probability and the likelihood of those risks occurring, and then implementing mitigations to either minimize or eliminate them completely. So there are five types of business risks that you need to be keeping an eye on. The first one is strategic risk. Is your business and by extension, your strategic business plan moving in the same direction as the market or are you about to get blindsided? The second risk is compliance risk. Is your business following all the laws and regulations that it should be? The third risk is operational. Is everything in your business running at optimal efficiency or are things being held together by string and sticky tape? The fourth risk is financial. Do you have all of your income earning eggs in one basket? What would happen if that customer or that product suddenly disappeared tomorrow? Are you vulnerable? And the last business risk is reputational. Is your business potentially susceptible to some negative PR? This could come in the form of a bad customer review, a product recall, or even a lawsuit. So the million dollar question is, what do we do with all these risks out there? So to manage and to build a great business contingency plan, there are again, five steps that you can do. So the first one is to list and categorize every risk that your business could be susceptible to. And what you do is you categorize them into the types that I just mentioned above. The second thing to do is to assess every single one of those risks against the likelihood of them occurring and the impact that it would have to your business if it did. That should then give you a score and you can do this in a risk matrix. The third step is to rank and prioritize your risks. And if you do, if you use that risk matrix effectively, it should identify to you what are the high likelihood, high impact risks that you need to focus on right now. The fourth step is to develop a plan and it could be a project or it could be initiatives to minimize or potentially even eliminate those high risks. And the last step, which people often forget, and it's a very important step, is to monitor and update your list of risks regularly. We do not want to get caught by surprise at any time. So that's how you do risk management. If that's inspired you to potentially do it yourself, head over to the Level Up website where I've got a free risk management guide on there for you to download right now. See you next time.